So in this video we will see how to perform deletion in splay trees. In the previous video we have already discussed how to perform insertion in splay trees, right? So this is the tree, I am taking this example and I am going to delete first of all 12, then 14, then 16, right? Now how to delete data from splay trees? As we know splay trees are what? These are also a variant of binary search trees, right? So the deletion operation would be would be having same process as the as in the uh, BST binary search tree right but only difference is what after deletion you are going to perform splaying operation in splay tree right after insertion also you have performed splaying operation after search also you, you are going to perform splay operation right now first of all you will delete the data you will perform the same step as we have discussed in BST after that we will do splaying of this tree. Now splaying on which element? This thing you need to take care. This is the important point to note here. You are going to splay this tree for which element? Right. Now see, I'll tell you. First of all, suppose I'm going to delete first of all 12. So how to delete? First step is what? Simple perform standard BST deletion. Right. That is the first step. Now. In BST deletion, what we will do? First of all, we will search for this 12. Where is this 12 in this tree, right? Compare with this root, we are going to start obviously from the root because we are having address of the root node only, right? Now compare 12 is less than 14, so go to the left side. 12 is less than 13, go to the left side. 12 is greater than 7, go to the right side. 12 is greater than 10, go to the right side. And here we got 12, right? Now see, what is the parent of this node you want to delete this is the parent right and this is the node suppose n you want to delete right now in bst deletion this is the leaf node so you can simply delete it no need to do anything right we will discuss all the cases if the node you want to delete is having only one child or if it is having two children right in this case this node is having a zero child so now you can simply delete it. Now after deletion, what do you need to do? Now after deletion of this, this is the tree. Now that is not yet done. The deletion is not yet done in splay trees. Now we are going to splay this tree for this element, for the parent of the node you want to delete. You have deleted this 12, parent of this node is 10. So you will splay this 10 now, right? This is the important point to note here. Now, see, suppose I have deleted this 12, this is having no children, so you can simply delete it, right? Now, parent is this one, so splay this tree for this, uh, on this uh, element. You can say splay this 10, or here you can write splay at 10. Now, I have already discussed how to do splaying operation in splay trees find out the parent of this node now this is not the parent now we are going to splay this right so suppose this is x parent of this one is this one and grandparent is this one so this is having both parent and grandparent so that case you need to follow in that case also we have four sub cases now see this is what right child of parent but this is what left child of its parent both are in opposite direction so this is what zig zag situation so here you will do zigzag rotation right now in case of zigzag rotation first we are going to perform rotation on the parent then grandparent now you have to find out which rotation left or right you need to perform see the 10 is what the right child of this parent so we are going to perform left rotation on parent right and after that right rotation on grandparent so now after first rotation the tree is something like this Rotate this to the left, so 10 would go upward and 7 would go downward. Now, this is grandparent, so now rotate it with right, because now this is left child of this one. So now the tree would be, but now this is not yet done, because 10 is still not the root. Splaying means, if you want to splay this 10, then it means we are going to make 10 as a root of the tree, but 10 is not the root still. So I have uh, told you what is that splaying algorithm. We are going to write this step of splaying in while loop, right? In the previous video, we have already discussed. You can check out that video in the side button. 
Now see, now again which uh, rotation you need to apply, which case is there? Now this 10 is what? Left child of this parent and the parent of 10 is what? Root, right? So now 10 is not having any grand parent. So now this is what only zig situation. Now which rotation you need to apply? Left or right? This you need to take care. Now this is left child of 14. So we need to apply right rotation, right rotation on this root or you can say parent of this 10. So after this right rotation, the tree would be, see here 13 is to the right of this 10. So it would go to the right of 10, but left of now 14. This also we have already discussed in the previous video that how to do left rotation and right rotation means how to uh, write down the steps, right? Now this is the tree, right? After deletion of 12, fine. Now we will delete 14. Now find out where is 14 greater than 10. So here you go this 14. Now see the 14 is having both left and right child. Now this is internal node. So you cannot simply delete it. We cannot delete internal node in BST. We can delete only leaf nodes, right? Now we can replace this node. Now with which child you are going to replace it because it is having both left and right child. So, so two uh, approaches are there. Either you can select in order predecessor or in order successor. It's up to you. Now I'm selecting suppose in order successor. Now in order successor of 14 is what? In the right subtree, find out the smallest element. Right now in the right subtree of this 14 smallest element is what 15 right see I have already discussed BST insertion and deletion in detail so you can check out that video in the side button now we are going to replace this 14 with this 15 so suppose I am replacing here 15 right now here we got 215 this and this so now we are going to delete this one we are going to call recursively the delete function on this in order successor right now this is what leaf node so you can simply delete it now this is not yet done now we are going to perform splaying operation now splaying on which element on which node see before deletion here we had 14 parent of the node you want to delete is this one right so we will do splaying on the parent of the node you want to delete now parent is this one now see parent is already root node so now no need to do any splaying fine because in splaying we will we are going to make that node the root of the tree and this is already the root of the tree so no need to do any splaying now this is done right now we will delete 16 now find out where is 16 greater than 10 greater than 15 now here we got 16 we cannot delete it because it is internal node now it is having one child only so simply you can replace the 16 with 17 it's children now you can delete this yes we can delete because this is the leaf node so we can delete it now on which node you are going to perform, perform splaying operation before deletion the node 16 was here parent of this is 15 so we will delete sorry we will perform splay operation on this 15 now we are going to make this 15 as the root of the tree now find out which rotation you require 15 the parent of 15 is root node so it is only zig situation is there which rotation you need now 15 is right child of 10 so we will do left rotation left rotation right or you can say zig rotation so now after this left rotation the tree is something like this now 10 would go downward 15 would go upward right now see here to the left of this 15 we have 13 so to the left of 15 now the 13 would go left of 15 and right of this 10 here we got 13 now you can see 15 is now the root node now suppose you want to delete 20 now search where is 20 in this tree greater than 15 greater than 17 but we don't have any child of this 17 we have reached to null it means we don't have this 20 in this tree right now you will do splaying you will do splaying in this that is for sure but on which element you will do splaying operation now see this before reaching to the null node because here we have null 20 is greater than 17 but here we have null so the last accessed note null node is 17 right 
So you need to do splaying on 17 now. It's not like that, the data is not present. So simply you just leave it like this, no. After searching, if the data is not present, then splay on the node, which is last not null node, lastly accessed not null node before reaching to the null node, fine. Now you will do splaying on 17. Now 17 is what? Root of 17 is, sorry, the parent of 17 is root only. So this is zig situation. Now the 17 is to the right of 15. So we will do left rotation, right? So this is what zig uh, rotation or here you can say this is a uh, zig rotation as well, fine. Now the 17 would go upward. So the tree would be something like this. So now suppose you want to delete 17. Now see where is 17? The root of the tree is 17. So now is there any parent of this root? No parent of root is there. So we cannot do any splaying operation. So you can simply delete it. Means we are going to replace it. It is having left child. So left child is 15. Now 15 would become the new root and no need to do any splaying because this root is the, the node you want to delete is not having any uh, parent, right? So basically two steps in this deletion. First is perform standard BST deletion. Second is you splay the tree on the element which is parent of the uh, uh, node you, you have deleted, right? So two steps are there. Now I have already deleted, I have already uh, discussed the algorithm for splaying in the previous video, right? How to write down the algorithm. Now simply BST deletion algorithm is what that thing we will, I will discuss in the separate video algorithm for BST insertion as well as deletion, right? So now see this is what a bottom up approach or you can say bottom up splaying deletion in splay trees can be performed uh, in two ways. First is that is top down splaying you can say or next one is bottom up. Right. So maybe this is what a bottom up splaying. Fine. In the next video, we will discuss how to do deletion in splay tree by following that top down uh, splaying approach. Right. Now uh, you can uh, in the question you, you can be asked like this, they'll give you a tree and they'll ask you to delete a key and they'll say you that the splay tree is what a bottom up tree. It is having bottom up approach. So you need to follow this approach. If they ask you to follow the top down approach means in that case you have to split the tree in two sub trees and after that after deleting the particular node you how you want to delete after that you can merge those trees right first of all uh, the key you want to delete you have to make that key as the root of the tree after that once you delete the root of the tree then the tree would be split into two trees one is left sub tree one is right sub tree that thing we will discuss in the next video with the help of an example so this is all about deletion in splay trees uh, following this bottom up splaying approach, right? And uh, I'll see you now in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.